Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ham Radio with K0PIR. And I've been busy with the ICOM 7610. If you haven't already, check out my previous video on updating the firmware. I've updated it to 1.42, 1.42, and I've got the link on my website. Uh, be sure when you download it, you're getting the correct firmware version. A lot of the time, when I'm looking for it on Google or when I'm researching, it uh, pops up to 1.3, 1.3, and that's not the version, uh, the latest version. So be careful when you download it. And in this video, we're going to review the DPD function. Um, and I've got some information on my website, www.k0pir.us. So let's see how to run the adjustment and then activate DPD. Okay, first thing you'll notice, uh, my screen looks different and uh, I'll have a video coming out real soon on how to set up uh, your spectrum scope to look like this and I've found that it is really helpful uh, especially on CW. Now uh, back to DPD and uh, after you update the firmware if you press the physical menu button on the 7610 and you, you can't see it because uh, my screen's not showing it. That's just a video capture of the LCD. And you can see it's grayed out. It's grayed out right now because I'm in CW mode. But if I switch to, uh, oh, let's, uh, and uh, you'll see it uh, looks really nice. I'll hit the menu button again. You can see DPD is on. Now this affects your transmit audio, uh, not your receive. So you can turn it on or off from this menu. And uh, before you get access to this button, you have to set it up. And to set it up, uh, you tap that hard menu button to get into this screen, and then you go to set. And you go to DPD adjustment. I don't have the PW2 amplifier. If you have the PW2 or you're going to get it, then this is where you want to go. But I'm operating an ACOM 1000, and this works really well with the ACOM 1000. And again, I'll have more information on my website. So you want to tap that adjustment, single adjustment, and yes. And you can see uh, all mine are filled out in there because I've already run it and uh, you've got an adjustment frequency over here and I'm curious about that I wonder what would happen if I change that adjustment frequency to a frequency closer uh, to where I operate most of the time uh, I haven't gotten an answer to that yet so I just left it as it is to run the adjustment you want to be on uh, dummy load and I am on uh, antenna 2 uh, that's the dummy load and uh, you do need to use a dummy load. You can't use a resonant antenna. It's got to be a dummy load. And then to run the adjustment, uh, you tap on adjustment and then start the adjustment. And you'll see the power increase. There it goes. There it goes. So I did it for 160 meters. Let's go to uh, down a little bit. Let's go to uh, 80 meter band. And I can go ahead and clear this one. Uh, I've got to hold it down. And uh, clear that adjustment value. Now uh, let's run it. Adjust. And start the adjustment. Okay, and we got it in there. So I've run all these, and uh, when you're done, I uh, go ahead and exit out, pressing the exit button, uh, the hard exit button on the front of the radio. 
I'm going to go to uh, SD card and I'm going to save my settings. New file. Enter. And then yes. So I save those settings. Now if I, I go back and I want to load that last setting that I did. Uh, right here. If I want to load that. I'll, I'll load all uh, everything. But if I just wanted to load the DPD adjustment. I can do that. And simply by going to select. And uh, just load that one. So uh, that's the way you back it up. Okay, like I said, uh, two things to look out for. Uh, use a dummy load and don't have the antenna tuner turned on. I've been using it and of course I can't really tell because it's on my transmit audio and it's a digital pre-distortion. I've got some more information on my website again. I hate to keep referring to it, but read that and it'll tell you a little bit more. Uh, it works real good with the Acom 1000 uh, Alpha amplifiers, uh, some tube amplifiers, but it does not work with uh, solid state amplifiers. If you've got one of the uh, newer ones, then it's just not going to work. Maybe there will be a uh, update in the future, but uh, for the solid state, it would work on the PW2. Okay, well that does it for the video. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. Uh, doing that, it helps others as well. And uh, that's about all I've got. Uh, stay tuned for the next video on the Spectrum Scope. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.